This video demonstrates the updates and enhancements made in Sigurdi Speed EM in the Sigurdi and Systems Analysis 2021.1 HF3 release. After viewing this video, you will learn about Introduction of Sigurdi Speed EM in Layout Workbench Post-processing functionalities in Speed EM Generator and Improved in Tool Self-Help Speed EM is a versatile electrical simulation software environment that is used to perform transient analysis of the entire IC package and PCB designs. It is uniquely able to perform a broad range of signal integrity, power integrity, and electromagnetic interference studies in a single tool. It also provides a post-processing interface so the user can analyze, compare, and print the results of package simulation. To launch Speed EM, navigate to the bin folder in the installation directory and double-click spdgen.exe. Alternatively, you can launch Speed EM by searching Generator from the Start menu. With the introduction of Speed EM in the Layout Workbench, it acquires an easy and intuitive graphical user interface for running different workflows, and also, it inherits the dark theme from Layout Workbench. The Layout Workbench GUI consists of Menu Bar, Toolbar, Workflow Pane, Layout Window, Output Pane, and Layer Selection Pane. Within Layout Workbench, you can conveniently switch between Speed EM and other security and systems analysis tools without the need to open the tools separately. To do so, from the Workflow Pane, select Switch Workflow. From the Switch Workflow window, you can choose the tools from the left pane, and then select the desired workflow from the right pane. Now, let's find out more about the post-processing functionalities in Speed EM. Earlier, post-processing functionalities were supported by a separate transient simulation engine, Speed EM Simulator, to analyze, compare, and print the 2D and 3D results of a package simulation. From the Security and Systems Analysis 2021.1 HF3 release onwards, you can build and modify package components, and view the 2D and 3D simulation results simultaneously via Speed EM Generator. This eliminates the need to open a separate executable, SPD SIM, and saves you time and improves the overall performance. Now, let us see how SPD Gen handles post-processing. To do so, click Start Simulation to view the 2D simulation results. The 2D simulation is displayed in the 2D Curves Time Variation window in Speed EM Generator. To view the 3D simulation, click 3D Distribution Display. The 3D View window opens. Click the play button to simulate the 3D distribution animation. The 3D simulation is now displayed in the 3D view window in Speed EM Generator. Now, let's find out more about Intool Self-Help. To do so, click the Help menu. Speed EM now has the revamped Help menu that provides a consistent help access experience across all layout workbench applications. Using the new Help menu, you can access the Speed EM User Guide, What's New? and the Knowledge Resources page. Apart from the new Help menu, the support for context-sensitive help has been added. Help buttons in the form of question marks have been added in Speed EM. These enable you to view the help topic related to the feature from the documentation in the Cadence Help window. Let's quickly go through the points covered in the video. In the Security and Systems Analysis 2021.1 HF3 release, the following updates and enhancements were made in Speed EM, Speed EM is now a part of Layout Workbench. Post-processing functionalities are now supported by Speed EM Generator. And, in-tool self-help is now improved in Speed EM. Thanks for watching the video.